Hey everyone, Tim Reset here from over at eminimind.com. I had a lot of people asking me about Roth IRAs and I wanted to just do a quick video on what a Roth IRA is and how to set one up. So IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account and a Roth IRA is a retirement account which grows tax free. So you make X amount of dollars as earned income for the year and that that money is taxed once at the uh, income tax level and from that point you can deposit into the Roth IRA and it grows tax-free now before we continue I just wanted to say that I am not a uh, CPA and not a registered uh, or affiliate um, broker and uh, you know you want to do your research and consult with a uh, you know, financial professional before you uh, make any decisions. But uh, I just wanted to briefly touch on setting up a uh, Roth IRA because it is actually very easy for the average person to go about setting up and uh, managing their own Roth IRA. So this website, RothIRA.com, has a lot of good info on the Roth IRA, um, what it is, how it works. Uh, currently, it's 2011, you can contribute up to five thousand dollars if you're under the age of forty nine and you actually have until april fourteenth of two thousand eleven to contribute to two thousand ten which means you can put you can open an account today you can put up to five thousand dollars into that account for two thousand ten and then you can put in another five thousand dollars into the account for two thousand eleven so the Brokerage I use for setting up that I currently have my IRAs and brokerage accounts with is called Thinkorswim. They were uh, just bought out of T uh, bought out by TD Ameritrade, and uh, the website is Thinkorswim.com. The reason I use them, uh, one of the reasons I use them, uh, the platform is free, and one of the the great features is they give you three mutual fund trades per month for free, and if you're contributing a hundred, two hundred dollars, and buying more shares every month, paying commission definitely eats into your profits. You know, seven, ten, fifteen dollars uh, aside, uh, you do that ten, twenty times a year. It really starts to to dig into the profits that you're making. And if the uh, profits that you are making in the Roth IRA are tax free, uh, that really with compounding interest can make a big difference down the uh, down the road if you just google compound interest calculator you can throw in some numbers and see what kind of outputs you get and it really is quite amazing so to open a Roth IRA in thinkorswim you simply go to thinkorswim.com click open an account start opening an account you'll create a username and password and go ahead and hit register from there you will select Roth IRA you will go ahead and read through some documentation and print out a signature card this will be faxed or mailed down to thinkorswim just sign it and mail it down uh, you will need to claim a beneficiary which for a because it is a retirement account it requires a beneficiary once you do this, it'll take you about two or three days, and they will verify and open your account. You can then set up an ACH through your bank or checking account, or else send a wire transfer to Thinkorswim to fund your account. Now, if there is no minimum balance to fund a retirement account currently with a Thinkorswim. So that is a, uh, a nice feature. You can get started for very, uh, very cheaply. And from there, you can go ahead and buy a fund, uh, perhaps an asset allocation fund, a stock index. There's a plethora of places to go from, from there. But uh, that's just the basics of setting up an account. I want to get everybody uh, up to speed with the broker that I use, Thinkorswim, here. And um, if you do have any more questions, you can email me at uh, eminimind at gmail.com. Thanks, and have a good day.